Look at the mailbag, let's see what I purchased this time. Maybe there's something here that you need. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Alright, let's see what this is. I hope I recorded the last bit of video. Hmm. If I didn't record the last bit of video, there's the charge cables. Um, yeah. Whole bunch of little screws. Now these could be really handy. Uh, looks like the case is taped shut though. It's a bit of a concerning aspect, I suppose. I'm splitting a slight bit of case on that. The dividers and then yeah, that's the divider part. So that's that bit of lid there. Loads of little screws, tiny little ones. Sometimes you need like little tiny screws for things. I think there's like two mil. 2mm, 3mm, something like that. Sometimes you just need something small. And they're not that easy to get normally. So I've got a range of some nuts and stuff in there too, some washers. Yeah, I think it was like 2mm, 3mm, something like that. Check out the listing down below anyway. I'll, I'll chuck it in the um I'll chuck it in the description, so make sure you go and check out the listing. That'll tell you exactly what's in here. And if you think you might need some these little tiny screws for something, um, I'll suggest you go and check it out and maybe buy some. Oh, I'll see this one. Else. Okay. So maybe a little while ago. Um, I purchased little boxes of switches, uh, momentary switches. Well, this is another box of momentary switches. Just some different ones. Nice little different ones, really t small ones. Nice little range, little down ones. So, yeah, just another ones to add to collections. So, nice to have a range. You never know what you're going to need. Again, check out the links down below. Let's see what's in here. That's my Patreon supporters, because uh, without them it'd be a bit harder to buy things like this. I spend a lot of money on this YouTube channel. Of course, oh, you don't have to spend much, you don't, you know. Yeah, you do. <laughs> when I'm, I have, to, I have to spend money. So here we have a range of nozzles, which are supposed to fit my Quick 860 hot air station. So, which is just over here. So they just um, should just push in. Get this one off. This one I've been using all the time. I haven't changed it at all. I've just put this one and left it in. It's a nice tight fit. There you go. Alright, so that's the size I've been using. I think that's about 4 mil or something. But I wanted an angled one. Probably a smaller angled one. Look how small that one is. It's about 2 mil. Maybe 3 mil. So I wanted a smaller angled one so I can get more precise. I don't tend to do large areas, so I think small, more, smaller, more precise, be better, and that's a nice angle. So here we go, angled bit. Does it plug in? It does, and that means I can then, when I'm doing uh, recording, instead of trying to sort of be like this, and if I've got the overhead camera view, it just messes it right up. I can have it angled, and maybe I can uh, do it in a way which doesn't get in the way of the camera so much. That's the plan. That's the plan anyway. We'll see how it goes. So that seems to be where it wants to naturally sit. So I'll go to that size with that, as I think it's probably 3mm. Get it on a go. But yeah, got a range of sizes here. So if you're interested in these, um, I'll chuck a link down below for these as well. So you've got different angles, different sizes. Uh, what's that, about 10, 12mm was it? Let's see what we've got here, sort them out. Plus, of course, the one I've already taken away. So you've got more straight ones than angled ones. Do right, there we go. So I've got one audio on the iron. So I had six angled ones, five straight ones. Oh, sorry, we've got four straight ones. That's my original one there. So looks like I've got two the same size here. These two look the same. Hmm, interesting. I thought they were supposed to be different sizes. 
doesn't matter. I got it for these ones anyway. That's what I bought it for was these angled ones. So yeah. Again, check the links out. They weren't that expensive. Harder to find, but not weren't that expensive. Alright, last thing for today. What do we have? Ah, right. Okay, well hopefully you survived the trip. For those of you who haven't, didn't see my Agilent power supply repair videos, or my Agilent series, I've been doing various videos on the Agilent power supply. I've done a couple of repairs now and I've been doing bits and pieces on the usage and calibration, that sort of stuff. If you're interested in learning a bit more about these Agilent power supplies, or key type power supplies, um, check those videos out. But this is a replacement front panel. Because I did a video recently where I picked one up from uh, overseas and it arrived smashed. It wasn't smashed from a bullet, it has got damaged in the post. And otherwise, well apart from that, it was working okay. Um, just needed calibration and that sort of stuff. But the um, front panel was broken, so I jumped online, found a spare front panel. Which would be nice to be able to get into. <laughs> get in there. Come on, let me in. Hang your layers, come on. One layer would have sufficed, wouldn't it? Oh, that's ridiculous. Sod it. <laughs> uh. Here we go, now we're in. So it's got some, it's obviously a used front panel, it's not new. It's got some label residue and scrape marks just here. So it's not perfect condition. Go on, focus on that. Here we go. So you can see that there, get the light on it. So it's, you know, been used. And it's a 3648A. Now this is actually, I purchased this for a 3646A. But it's um, the 3646, 3647, 3648, 3649A, all exactly the same basically, apart from the rated outputs. So, um, and obviously a bit of the circuitry and stuff like that. But. So it's front panel, complete with buttons. So at least I've got a spare set of buttons as well, which is also good. I didn't pay that much for this, I think it was only... Um, I think it's about forty-five dollars in or something like that. I'll pay for this, so at least now I've got a spare front panel. Now the reason I purchased it is one I bought, which um, was all smashed. I managed to glue it back together, but I wasn't sure I could glue it back together before I even tried. I, I purchased this, so I thought, well, if it if it doesn't work, I've got a a new panel. This insert piece here, this this comes out, it just clips in. If you've got a couple of clips up here, you, you just release those clips, and that piece comes out. That scraping on there wasn't. I didn't. I didn't notice that in the picture. I might have to have a close look at the picture and see if it was in there or not. If it, if it didn't look that bad in the picture, then maybe I'll um I'll, I'll make that an issue. But I suppose it would be a bit better than that. Apart from that, it looks good. Maybe I'm put a sticker over that or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. And uh, catch you next time. Again, chuck comments down below. Give you give your opinions. Want to hear what you have to say? Get later. See you next time.
Well, let's see what this is. I could record the last bit of video. Hmm. If I didn't record the last bit of video, is the charge cables. <laughs> 